different. I usually do badminton training live stream, but um, I'm not doing badminton training for the summer because my coach has a ton of kids classes day and night. So don't really have time and it's so hot. I'm already toweling down. Hasn't even started yet. <laughs> and uh, so I thought I would do a club night something a little different. Um, this is a club that um, we really go to. <laughs> We've been here like four or five times, so I don't really know the people at this club. Um, we are at the upper end of the level. Um, so, you know, hopefully you'll see us win a lot. Oh, hello, Benjamin Sharma. Welcome, welcome. Um, so, you know, I'm going to just show a club night here and just gonna live stream and you know when I'm playing you guys can talk amongst yourselves and when I'm not playing I'll come back and chit chat and we are still waiting hope you're doing good I'm doing good how are you doing Benjamin you doing good tonight today where are you um, from where are you right now what time is it where you are right now <laughs> in China it's almost eight o'clock and I will show you nobody gives up court time here it is six minutes until eight o'clock. So these people will play for six minutes until their time is up. So um, just have to wait a minute. So I thought I'd start the stream early. Here's Aju. Hey. We found this club. Um, I, I don't know if you've watched a recent video of mine where I was kind of complaining. Um, about, oh, from India, and the time right now is 5.30. Oh, nice. Um, so I was kind of complaining that Tuesday our clubs were super boring. We couldn't find a good club. So um, our Tuesday club is run by the woman who runs this club. She actually runs a club every single night. I don't know if she makes money. It's still only it's 35 RMB, which is like, you know, like six dollars us per person so it's not that much money but i don't know why or how she can run a badminton club every single night um maybe she makes money off it but so she runs a wednesday club at a different court than the tuesday one and different people go so that's where we are tonight da, 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 da. and they have some nice areas to put my phone down on <laughs> which is nice what do you think the reason China is so good at badminton? Um, I think it's just the amount of people. There's just so many people that play badminton. Kids start at age two and three, like just for fun. Like, like in America, you know, when we're little kids, we play basketball. I think that's why America is so good at basketball. Um, you really need a country where it's like started very young and very respected in the country as badminton is hugely respected in China. So I think that's why, and there's so many people. Um, do they split the courts by level, grade, or social, or just play with whoever? Uh, that's a good question. Hey, Fatty. Hey, Fatty Steve. Long time no see. Um, <laughs> this is total social. Um, most of the time we just do it ourselves. The club leader, she's, she's very cute. You'll see. Um, she's like the Bjork of club leaders. <laughs> she, she always wears like, cute outfits and stuff she wore like this like fuzzy sweater once to play badminton which was totally impractical but it was adorable but she will sometimes say like this court for men's doubles this court for mixed so she sometimes takes control but usually we're just left to ourselves just for fun um everybody here in my experience you know i again i don't know these people that well but I'm trying to wait for the court to open i should get my racket hold on Um, everybody's same-ish level, but I said in the beginning, Aja and I are on the upper end. We win most games, <laughs> and if I play with another partner, I still win most games. I will tell you, though. You want a little gossip? That woman there, she is very serious. Um, you know, I don't want to 
What's one advice you give those people who are aging and want to play badminton but are afraid due to their age issue? Well, you know, I'm 46 now. I just had my birthday. And badminton is a great sport to play as you age because you don't have to play as fast, you know? Like, if you are afraid of your knees, that's a really common problem. A lot of people here have braces. Um, <laughs> you always get one of those, yeah. Um, so I think badminton is actually a really good sport to play as you age. You can see, you know, they're, they're not spring chickens here. So, um, but you know, you can play at your level. And if you're afraid, you know, don't play with young people. Play with people your age, because it will be kind of a slower game in general. Um, but yeah, so I'll finish telling you this woman in the pink. She is so serious and she really hates losing. And when she loses, she like makes us play immediately. Um, and she's like so intense, <laughs> but it's kind of fun. She, she's always here every week and she's not bad. So it is kind of fun, but I'm waiting for them to leave. I got my rackets. You gotta like hop in because there's more people. Oh, here's the club owner. She's that girl way, way back there. She's very cute and nice. I actually call her. Oh, oh.
never got his shorts. So we actually just went and bought some shorts and he had the tags in them still.
在地方打啊！所有人打完个球都放到场边。Already sweaty. Won't really tell you guys the score on that one. That was terrible. Um, Alvin from Singapore, EK from Malaysia, um, from Australia, Morning from Canada. Nice. Benjamin asks, uh, Do you plan to stay in China for lifelong or do you have other plans? I don't have any plans. I'm going to play it by ear. Anyway, we super duper lost that game. I don't know if you can see, every shot was like hit out. Great game. That's why you can't have a lot of pride. You do a badminton live stream. <laughs> Hopefully I'll make it up in the next game. Um, let me get water, hold on. But it's okay. I'll be honest. I uh, we obviously haven't really warmed up. I'll be honest. I don't love warm up. Um, I think you guys know that I have a lot of health problems, or no, I have one big health problem, <laughs> not a lot of little ones. Uh, and it means I don't have a lot of energy, so I don't like to use up my energy in a warm up situation. So, any uh, questions about? Chinese badminton club. This club we're taking up four courts. The far one, this one, this one, and that one. Look at that cute little house. Isn't that cute? That's the uh, office. I think it's very cute. Um, this badminton court, maybe I'll, I'll go outside in a bit and show you, is actually on a parking lot. We are on the roof of a parking lot. We are at the Shaman train station, downtown Shaman. And this is the parking garage for the train station. And they just, on the roof, like it's like, like in the hallway, it's open to the sky. Cause we are literally on the roof of a train station, which honestly, very clever idea. If you don't use the roof for parking and, and most honestly, um, in China, I rarely see rooftop parking. There's usually a roof, the top level, and then there's a roof, so. You know, a parking lot, parking garage is huge. This is for the train station, so it's very huge. And uh, it's kind of a good idea to build some courts on top. There are six courts in this room and they have another room. It's a VIP room, it's air conditioned. We do have an air conditioner, da, 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 da. but that is not to cool the place down. That's more for you to just stand by when you're really hot. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully we'll play again and get to redeem ourselves. Go to all your Changi sisters, how much? 
I am um, tracking my badminton play. I always do with my Xiaomi watch. This uh, shows you your heart rate. The badminton setting focuses on your heart rate and the time played. It does not do steps. Because Xiaomi is kind of a cheaper fitness bracelet. So it doesn't do steps and heart rate at the same time. So. Any questions? Anyone new joining? Hello, hello. My friend Jen promised to uh, join. She didn't know YouTube had live streams. <laughs> she thought I was on TikTok. Hey, Kimmy T, keep up the great Batman and videos. Thank you. Thank you, Kimmy T. Where are you from? What country are you in right now? I think it's super cool how international the badminton community is. Should I get out of the way so you can see them playing? See this woman? She's not bad. Uh, see, I don't know why we're all... UK! Oh, nice. I don't know why. Everyone was hitting it out a lot. There's no... All the windows are closed. Anyway, we're waiting. This this club, um, you know, there's a lot of people. So you play one game and then take a break. So you gotta you gotta get ready to pounce like a tiger. When one game ends, you gotta run or someone else will take it. I'm just not super aggressive to get a court, but I am. So <laughs> I feel like I gotta watch out. I feel like they're almost they gotta be almost done at this point, based on time. Okay, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. Hey -o. Um, you guys, uh, how often do you guys play badminton? How often do you um, go to clubs? These days we are three to four days a week. Okay, here we go.
12, 10, we're winning. one for you guys so it wasn't so embarrassing uh, 21 to whatever I forget okay see this is my health problem my heart rate is at VO2 max so I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go play men's doubles let me drink Stay here and chat with you guys. <sighs> Hope Ajit does okay. Let's see, did anyone say anything? Whew. See, my heart's very. Ah, I can't see the comments. I hope this is still working. There you go. Your chat messages, but I hope you're still here, still watching. Anyway, I don't know what to say. I don't know if you guys, oh, the number's changed. Okay, I think you're still here. I can't see the comments though. Problems with YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Ciao, <yo. laughs> Oh, hey, okay, I can see the comments again. All right, so did anyone say um, how often you guys play badminton at your club nights? How, how many times a week or a month do you play badminton? Oh, oh. Let me know. Aja and I are now three. It used to be four, but since I stopped my training. I won't go with them. I'll wait for Aja. I'm just not super high energy tonight. Jayo. Aji Jayo. <laughs> it 
So, any, uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Anything you want to talk about? Uh, I can't see the comments again. Okay, I hope, I hope I can. Numbers are changing. Hello, Lao Sean Lao. Ni hao, nice to see you, welcome. Where are you, Sean, where are you watching from? What country? Hello. <laughs> nice. Um, and you guys, let me know, how often do you play badminton at your club nights? Ooh, Australia, cool. It's a little later in Australia than it is here. So, good evening to you, Sean. That I do know. You can see there's also some classes going on. There is a coach. I played with him last time. After he finishes coaching, he plays with us. But he's, he's not that good. Aaron, hey Aaron. Is this Nanjing, Aaron? Hi, hi, long time no see. Two to three times per week, nice, just like me. And Nanjing is open these days, right? No problems there. Although I know the not Sujo, the other Sujo. <laughs> Um, it's having a little COVID outbreak, but we are totally okay in Shaman. It is not like, I know some of you guys probably heard about Shanghai, but Shanghai is open again, so we never had that problem. Woo. It's very hot. You can see shirts are coming off. Yeah, hey Aaron, cool, no problems, good. You're not traveling in the summer, I take it, Aaron? <laughs> Me neither. Stupid question. Oh, wait, did I miss a comment? Sorry. Ah, sometimes. No problems. Okay. I just seems. I always get Sujo and Sujo. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, I just seems very low energy tonight. But that's okay. Because again, like I said, no traveling, of course, yeah. For those of you outside China, um, obviously traveling inside China is fine and to leave the country is fine. To get back in the country is very difficult and I do not want to get stuck outside. You know, there's not a lot of flights. You have to get all these tests and you have to do all this paperwork before you come back, even if you have a visa, so. Most of us are just hanging tight in China this summer, playing badminton. Oh, where's that you? Oh. Hey oh. Oh. Is this similar, um, you guys from different countries, like Australia? What are your club nights like? Do you have like levels? Do you have like the same group of people? This, there's some similar people, but um, it's open. And there's like hundreds of people in the group, so there's not a ton of familiar people that play every Wednesday. Um, there's always, you know, I think there's 30 people that signed up, 28 to 30 people. But I don't really, honestly, I, there's like two people here that are familiar. <laughs> and I don't know their names, so, because we don't go to this group often. Just maybe four times. Um, so I know I know this club might be more relaxed than some clubs, especially in Europe. If anyone from Europe's watching, I think you guys have a more formal club system with levels and who gets to play who and all sorts of systems. I should get I just smashy smash. Hao You guys want to learn a little Chinese? Hao Cho. That means good ball, like nice one. Hao Cho, Hao Cho. Yeah. Hao Cho, Hao Cho Badminton is Yu Mao Cho. It's literally feather ball. You guys see okay. Uh oh. Hacho. Smash in Chinese is sha, like kill. It means kill. So I like 
I like to kill. You know I love my front of the net smash. <laughs> this has, uh, oh, we play with two groups. One group is a ton of mixed doubles, and surprisingly, we're all about the same level, so it's pretty competitive. That's nice. And like, all the same level is definitely the best, most interesting games. Wait, let me tell You can see tonight there's only two women, three including me, and uh, other, oh, four including the uh, club host. She plays, but not a lot. Oh, hard show. So not a lot of mixed doubles going on tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Aja, by the way, in the black. There we go. The black Yannick shirt. He's my partner and boyfriend. Hey, Josh from the Philippines. Hey, Josh. Welcome, welcome. My other friend, Jen, from the Philippines is supposed to be watching tonight. I'm gonna make her feel bad because she forgot. I forgot to remind her. Oh, 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 here we go.
天真的来了，夏天真来了，真来了，真来了，容易感冒，温度它没降下来。嗯，嗯，有点没以前那感觉，很明显。你们在机场那边吗？办公楼那边？还好，那边应该空气还好。而且那边比较空旷，比较比较通风。是啊，第三个提示，第三个，呃，三月好像有，现在好像这边就搬嘛，啊，就搬到咸安嘛，对，那早的嘛，早的。他这空出来这块地好平啊！现在还没有干，现在有没有想？啊，但是问题是，这个房地产没找起来。这个白金厂，白金厂也是从市中心搬出来，没搬出去，他就不干。没有，就没想注销，还是没搬完，还是怎么样？对，两场太浪费了吧？绝对有点浪费吧？不太可能吧？你厦门的市场，你这个产出量不够啊？这样中转的，这边有的话，问题你。Seventeen. 东南亚，你你手指越东南亚越好吃，对吗？你东南亚的那个手指越好吃啊！对啊，你东南亚肯定手指好吃啊！你你你飞到你这边，你从飞到广州那边差好远了吧？这个价格差好远了。南方的市场，这个还问题抢不了，对吧？是啊 ，thirteen twenty one，we won，want to make you guys proud <laughs>。Um, sorry， okay， so。Hot. My heart rate's 155. Do you like playing against men's doubles? I always find it when it's funny.
First game, me and that guy, a stranger, we lost 18-21. Second game, we won 19-21. But I am tired. Um, shaman life. Hey from High Song. Is that JP? Hey JP. Um, is bad button club structured or an academic structure for youth more prevalent in China? Oh, in the Netherlands. Um, to answer your question, sports and socialize. Um, not really. <laughs> um, badminton, badminton clubs in China, we don't have any sort of structure here. We don't have any sort of a level that you can test at you know like a national level that like gets you on the national team because the national team has uh, scouts the national team is so big here that if you are like good enough if you win like the local competitions or if you know your coach is a national team coach or something um you get into the system the national team system so everyone who is uh, you know in the amateur system in normal clubs um they there is no no like official structure you know there's no test there's no skill level all of our competitions they're um, arranged by age not by skill at all except pro players if pros are allowed to play they have their own group in within the competition so they don't play against amateurs so um hi from ukraine oh wow hi dimitri how are things in ukraine um so to answer your question, um, not even the youth clubs are structured. Um, youth clubs are more like with your coach, you know, because kids take classes and then they just play. So my coach has a club called Xiongfeng and I'm in the adult Xiongfeng and he, all his kids, his students play in the kids one. So if you're good enough, you will get picked by the national team and then you kind of disappear. You're not really, you play so much with the national team, even like as a youth, even in training, you would never play with, you know, the people again. You play in a special place and people aren't watching you. And, you know, like even your coach, like my coach has one of his students who's about 15 now, was chosen to be on the national team. So um, my coach never sees the student anymore because it's all in the national team system. Because China's national team is so organized, you know? Um, hey JP, what's up? Um, and hi, Dimitri. And Aaron, let me answer your question from before. Sorry, I ran off. Um, do you like playing against men's doubles? I always find it funny when we as mixed doubles play against men's doubles and they start serving over my head repeatedly if they start losing by a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I actually hate, um, you'll notice, nobody gave me high serves this whole night so far. In general, this club especially, especially because they don't know me. Someone might give me one high serve and I don't get it and then um, and then if I don't get it they'll be like sorry sorry and then they'll never give me a high serve again. So it's quite bad. Actually Dimitri what did you say? Uh, actually things not really good here. Yeah but we still have badminton training in cities that are far from the front line. I'm actually that's amazing that you still have some badminton. Do you get to play like for fun or anything? Hey, I guess my, my towel is kind of the Ukraine colors. <laughs> um, but yeah, things, it must be very tough in Ukraine right now. No, Aaron, not lucky me. I like high serves because then when you, when you play in a competition, all they do is give you high serves. And if you're not ready for it, and if you don't, if you don't get to practice high serves at club night, then, uh, can't do them in a competition, you know? So, uh, I, I wish they would give me high serves just so I could get more used to it. I'm very used to the low serves, so. Um, the thing that I hate about men's doubles versus mixed doubles is, um, <laughs> potato, potato, cute name. Finally managed to catch a live, yeah. Um, the thing I hate about um, men's doubles against mixed doubles is guys usually don't know how to play the net. You know, like the last game, it's all just hitting it as as 
hard as possible to the back of the court and you know maybe smashing on me but never doing some like clever front of the net stuff so because they a lot of guys don't have front of the net skills they just you know smash 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 So yeah, <laughs> I like your towel. Thank you. <laughs> actually, Aja has the same towel. This towel is actually a lot of people have the same towel. Oh, Aja Toifu! You want sexy Aja changing his shirt? <laughs> um, but yeah, Whew, okay, it's hot. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but it's hotter inside. And fun culture difference. Um, in China, people like to drink hot tea, even on days like today. On hot, humid days. Oh, That's a good one. It's, I'm going to let you guys watch this mixed doubles. Because, um... Potato, potato, where are you from? Where are you watching this live stream? What time is it anyway? 9.11 in China, PM. So far, just to give you a little update, I've been playing for one hour and seven minutes and I burned 502 calories. Um, it's good news, also not the best news, because my heart rate is really high today. It's, you know, my health is not good. Oh, Singapore, nice. Do you play a lot of badminton in Singapore? I heard courts in Singapore, it's hard to get or hard to book, because uh, there's so many people that want to play and not so many courts. Is that true? Do you, do you get a court easily to play Potato Potato? <laughs> Cute name. <laughs> Oh. So the east, uh, so I don't know, 11 to 4 or 1 to 4. I don't know what they're at. Or 14. Hey oh, nice one. So any other, any, oh, what should we talk about? You guys have any topics you want to talk about? Um, you know, Dimitri, stay safe where you are. I hope you are far away from any front lines. And I hope you can play badminton. Ooh, nice one. See that woman in red or pink, she's pretty good. Yeah, thinking about too few courts is very true. Oops, sorry, I missed the comment. Um, you have to wake up at 7 a.m., 15 days before the courts. You want to book to snatch up courts using an app. Oh my gosh. I've heard Hong Kong is similar as well. 7 a.m., 15 days before. <laughs> That's crazy. This club, like, we just sign up the day before. Um, usually, she'll just book for courts and have a limit. Um, but if more people want to play and there's a court available, she'll add a court. Um, Thursday, the same. They're playing men's doubles. I'm going to take a break. Um, Thursday, we also sign up on an app, but it's, a, it's an app for the club members, not for getting a court. So for tomorrow, we're playing in a different club, different courts, and there are 48 slots. So... Um, they deal with the courts. I have not booked my own courts ever when we play club nights. So what about, uh, how about this club level? This is club level. Oh no, I wanna watch Aja. Aja is now in white. That guy. Oh, we got the serve. He changed shirts. Um, 
This is similar to your guys' club level or different. Yo. I actually want to like sit down. <laughs> This is like my, uh, you know, I've been playing for an hour and 11 minutes. That's my strength these days. I can do an hour. And then the second hour, I start, my energy starts failing. I do, I will end in 30 more minutes because I have to uh, catch a bus. <laughs> The last bus leaves at 10.15, so I gotta leave here at 9.45 so I can get to the bus stop in time to catch one of the last buses. You know. Hashtag poor person's life. <laughs> this court is really far from my home. If, if I drove, if I got like a Didi, like a Chinese Uber, probably 45 minute drive from my house, but with the bus, maybe an hour, because I have to change buses, so. But the bus will be 50 cents, 50 US cents. And a DD would be, you know, 10, not $10, like a DD. Oh. oh, that guy just moved the air conditioner and I can feel it now. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, a DD would be like $8, so. I'm just a poor English teacher, so I take the bus. Oh, God, that's really nice, the guy. Yeah, air conditioner. Oh, I can feel it. Oh. Let's watch Aju. Oh, nice. Jaya, Hacho. I'm just really much better at men's doubles than he is mixed doubles. <laughs> Naturally. I think sometimes just listening to badminton is a lovely, sorry, um, it's a lovely sound. If I can get a nice microphone, I want to do a badminton ASMR. <laughs> it's very soothing. You can see my energies losing my energy. Look at those guys' shoes. Back in the day, I used to have those color shoes. So ugly, the ugliest color. Badminton shoes are so ugly. Uh oh. Mind me, just knocking over garbage cans. She's saying talented Peter Bronfong coming to China for participating in the Chinese circuit. Um, yes and no, sports and socialized. Um, foreign players are not allowed to play in competitions here, um, precisely for that reason. <laughs> um, I am allowed to play because I am. I have a job, so I have a social security card. You must have a social security card, and you can only have that if you're a worker. You can't get it if you're a tourist, and you can't get it if you're on a business visa. So even if you do work here on a business visa, because you're the owner or something, um, I don't think you can get the social security card. And you have to have that to be able to play competitions. Um, but 
foreigners do come here to train. And uh, should I play? Oh no, they're going. Okay. Court opened up, but I'm gonna take another break. Um, foreigners do come here, but for a short time. Um, the, the problem is language. Um, there is uh, not English camps and you know the, the really good players, like are the really good coaches, they don't speak English. They don't have to. They don't need to go outside China for a very robust and very lucrative career. So, um, you know, a lot of people from Taiwan and Hong Kong, not exactly foreigners, but they will come to mainland China to train for a year or so. Um, but you don't get a lot of Europeans. Um, if, if Europeans or, or North or South Americans want to train in Asia, they usually go to like Indonesia or Korea or, or Thailand where they have more training camps that are set up for English speakers. Um, so that's why I set up a training camp once a year before COVID where um, it was with my coach and it was for one week of training every day. Um, and my, I would, I or my students would translate because you do, my coach doesn't speak English. So most coaches don't, even the pro coaches. Like, I mean, you know, you know, the pro players, like the Chinese pro players barely speak English. <laughs> so um, the coaches are older, so they don't. So that's the biggest problem is the language barrier. And then the visa, even before COVID, Getting a visa for China has always been harder than other Asian countries with excellent badminton, you know? So I know the Indonesia has a great camp. Oh, okay. I'm going. Playtime. Woo woo.
We won that one by 10 points. That butt. But. Huh. You can see. Hi, Elmer. Germany. Guten Tag. I guess it's uh, afternoon in Germany. Guten Abend? No, I forget how to say. Good afternoon. In German. Um, yeah. I'm Becky tired. Um, Ice Legends. I know, right? Singapore badminton courts are so hard to book. Ice Legend, are you in Singapore as well? It sucks, but you know, I guess. Small place, right? That's the problem with a small place. Although Shaman City is a small place, but there are so many badminton courts. Uh oh, I don't know if I have the strength to play. Kaya, Kaya. Don't do it. 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 Don't do it.
Hey. First game we won a lot. Second game. 1921. Becky tired. Let's see if I'm still streaming. Oh, Goot Nobbins. Okay, I'm like Goot Nobbins. Okay, I gotta go catch my bus. So I gotta go. Change my shoes. I don't have a lot of energy for talking. So, this is still broadcasting, I hope it is. This is where I'm gonna say goodbye. Adjini Asha, bye bye ma. Woohoo! That just says bye bye. Thanks for the live, rest well. Thanks, potato, potato. Good luck with your courts in Singapore. Good luck waking up 7 a.m. 15 days early. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I didn't do too bad today. I think I only lost three games, so. It wasn't too embarrassing. <laughs> but I had plenty of, plenty of mess ups that I can't edit out in a live stream. 
That's why I think not a lot of badminton players do live streams because, you know, it's a little embarrassing when you lose, when you do stupid stuff. Anyway, who cares, right? No, 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 no judgment. Okay, I can't even talk. Okay, thank you. Goodbye, everybody. I will do another, probably another club live stream in a month. And then starting in September, I should probably be back to training. So I will see you guys next time on the court. And uh, next week, I got a competition video coming. Okay. Bye. Yay.